Hello friends welcome back today I would be showing you a very interesting topic that is how to automate currency conversions using Google Sheets so without wasting any time let's start learning that so let me first give you a demo before the demo I would like to read this disclaimer if you see at the bottom it is written quotes are not sourced from all markets and may be delayed up to 20 minutes information is provided as is and solely for the informational purposes not for trading purposes or advice so this disclaimer holds true for this tutorial as well now let's move on to the demo so here if you would see like there are three columns the amount column A the from currency and the two currency so I have listed few currency and in column D we would see the conversion values so when I click on this it, within few seconds you see it has populated the conversion values so it is very simple to achieve this and now I'll be actually showing you how you could do your own currency conversions using Google Sheets to explain it from scratch what I'll do I will create a new tab over here and now here I am putting the formula which would do the currency conversion it is very simple just follow me the formula is you have to put this equal to sign then Google Finance open round bracket within double inverted quotes you have to put the keyword currency close the double inverted quote sorry do not close the double inverted quote put a colon and here after the colon you have to put the currencies which you would like to convert for example if I want to do a conversion from USD to INR I will put both the currency symbols over here the prerequisite is like you should only know the currency symbols for example the symbol for US dollar is USD for Indian national rupee it is INR so I have put the symbol over here both the symbols over here without any space close the double inverted quote close the round bracket and hit enter so you get the value so this is the formula which will give you the currency conversion I will once again show you the formula the formula is this Google Finance then the keyword currency colon then the currencies which you want to convert you should know the symbols and that's it so now let's move forward so here we had hard-coded the currencies what if I want something like this like in the previous sheet we had seen we had these columns I'm just copying the these columns over here amount it could be any amount which you want to convert I'm putting five over here we had converted from USD to INR so my from currency would be USD to currency would be INR now instead of hard coding the this USD INR in the formula itself I want to pick it up from these columns B and C how will that be done so that is also very simple you have to modify the formula like this so you do not want USD INR to be hard coded so from the last inverted quote I am deleting everything putting the double inverted quote over here then I am using this ampersand after ampersand I am using another Google Sheet formula called concat and in the concat I am putting the reference of the cell B2 because we are picking up the from currency from B2 and we have to concatenate with C2 which is the two currency and now I am closing the formula and now I hit enter you could see it is giving me the same result so instead of hard coding it with the help of this formula we are able to pick up the values from the columns here I have picked up the values from column B and C if you have your currencies listed in some other columns you have to just replace the B and C with the respective columns so at present it is showing me the value of 1 USD to INR but I want the amount of 5 USD so that is very simple what you have to do is just multiply it with the column A2 so I'll further extend this formula I'll put this asterisk sign which means multiplication and I want to multiply it with A2 so I write A2 over here and now once again I hit enter and you could see the value has 
multiplied by 5 and it is reflecting the correct value I will once again highlight the formula you could see after the updates the formula looks like this after the currency it remains the same the double inverted comma is over here then we use the ampersand concat we provide the references of the column this is the from column then comma to column close the concat close the formula and multiply the entire formula with a2 why a2 because a2 holds the amount like what is the total amount which you want to convert so up till now we have done everything manually the formula we have typed everything has been done manually what if you have to convert multiple currencies as we had in this example for example if I want to convert these currencies as well so I'm just copying it and pasting it over here and you want to do it on an on-demand basis like uh, randomly you want to do it so for that we will write a small script to write the script you have to go to tools then script editor a new tab will load it will take few seconds here in the file section click on this plus sign select script you could do any name I'm just giving CC for currency conversion hit enter and by default on the right hand side you have this function my function you could rename this my function to any name of your choice I am writing the name as convert currency and now within these two curly braces you would be actually writing the logic which would be automatically converting the currencies so it is very simple what you will have to do is like whatever formula which we have embedded over here that formula we will have to put it in the script so the script goes like this the first two lines here we are declaring two variables I'll tell you what are these two variables so this is the syntax var ss so this is the spreadsheet object here we are telling that we have to perform all the operations on this spreadsheet which is my active spreadsheet so here we have written spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet after which the next line is like we are creating another object like this object is for the sheet like on which op on which sheet we want to perform the currency conversion operation in the previous example it was the currency sheet but here we want to perform the currency operations on this sheet 3 so here you have to provide sheet 3 instead of currency so whatever is the name of your sheet you have to mention it over here in my case the name of the sheet is sheet 3 so I have written sheet 3 over here so these two objects are ready now as I told you we have to embed the formula which is hard coded over here we will have to put this formula in the script so at which location we want to put the formula we are putting the formula in the position D2 so same thing we have to mention it in our script so the code goes like this DS by DS because this is the object which is referring to sheet 3 in which we are performing the currency conversion operation so DS dot get range and within the brackets I have mentioned it as D2 why D2 because D2 is the place where we are placing the resultant converted value so if you want to place it in another in any another cell you have to just put the reference of that cell over here in my case it is D2 so I have put D2 after which dot set formula after dot set formula you have to open a bracket and in this bracket you have to provide the formula in our case this is our formula so I'm just copying this formula and pasting it within these two brackets within double inverted quotes so I put these double inverted quotes and now I paste the formula now there is a small problem over here you could see the double inverted co quotes over here and here as well now this is part of the formula this double inverted quote so we cannot use the double inverted quote as is else it will treat it as a literal text so we will have to replace it with its ASCII equivalent it is very simple I'll show you how to do it so here I am breaking the string I am putting this plus which is used to concat two strings in Google script and now here I will put the ASCII equivalent of the double quote which is string dot from car code of 34 this represents a double inverted quotes so after which 
once again I put the concatenation operator put this double quote over here now move forward and I see another double inverted quote over here so again we'll have to repeat the same step over here plus which is the concatenation operator since we had opened this double inverted quote using ASCII we'll have to close it as well plus and the remainder of the formula will remain as is for which we put another double inverted quote over here a single double inverted quote that's it let's try this piece of code so I come to this sheet and I delete this formula so there is nothing over here when I come over here and when I hit this run button when I before hitting this run button make sure here the value is the name of the function if there are multiple functions you'll have to select the function in my case there is only one function so it is showing it over here click on run wait for a few seconds you could see below execution started execution completed I go back to the sheet and here I have the value which means the formula is working fine now this formula is working only for the cell D2 we want it for the rest of the cells as well for D3 and D4 which we want to convert so for that what we have to do is it is very simple just put these two lines of code as is I'll tell you what these two lines of code do like this line which I'm highlighting at line number 8 it will just activate this cell D2 and the next line which is very important it will just drag the formula to the rest of the rows so for all the rows which are populated the formula will get reflected so if you want to try this once again I save this and now when I run this just wait for a few seconds the execution has started it has completed once again I come back to my spreadsheet and you could see it has populated for the rest of the two rows as well I will just highlight the formula which we used so this is the formula you could make a note of this it is very important and now I'll just move forward once again we go back to the script now this is working fine but very important thing I like to explain it over here at line number 7 we are implementing the formula which is doing the currency conversion so just before line 7 at line number 6 I would like to include another line of code which goes like this ds dot get range d2 to dot uh, d2 colon d which means all the cells from d2 onwards in column d will have the value as blank which means the first we are setting the value to blank and then we are hitting this formula which is doing the currency conversion so we will get the latest values so let us execute this like this is the current values and now if I execute this let's see what happens I go back to the sheet you could see it just blinked and it has the updated values so this is very important you should keep this line of code in your script so our script is ready here we are just com converting three currencies if you want to do more that would also work so I'll just copy few more rows of data I'm just copying the currency symbols into our sheet now I go back to my script and I hit the run button go back to my spreadsheet and let's see so it has done the conversion for all the rows of data which we had inserted over here so this is our script it is working absolutely fine it is doing the conversions and one last thing which I would like to show is like the button which I had inserted in the currency tab that is very simple you have to go to insert drawing this kind of a window will come up you have to select this option called shape you'll have uh, various options I'm selecting this one I just click somewhere on the screen 
so after a few seconds you could see the shape which I selected will come if I do a right click I have the option edit text I'm just uh, writing over here click here and then I click on save and close so whatever was the text over here in within the button has come within the sheet now what we want is like to associate this button with the script which we have written now the function name is convert currency so I just copy it once again go back over here right click on this button if you see there are three dots available I click on it and here I get an option to assign a script here we have to provide the name of the function and click on OK So this is done now if I want to execute this I'll just click on this button you could see on the top it has shown finished script so within seconds it completed all the conversions once again I'll click on the top you can see running script now finished script so in the background it is executing and doing the currency conversions so this is it and I, once again I will like to read the disclaimer which is given below quotes are not sourced from all markets and may be delayed up to 20 minutes information provided as is and solely for informational purpose not for trading purposes or advice and the disclaimer holds true for this video tutorial as well guys if you like my tutorials I would like you to subscribe to my channel so that you would be updated with the latest videos I would be uploading guys thanks for joining I'll see you in my next tutorial have a nice day